Yo, what's up, guys? It's Kurt Paul here today, and uh, we're here with Insane Money Making Guide number three. Um, this method I'm about to show you is going to be 62 to 65 mil an hour. Um, first, let's just get into our inventory setup. So the first thing you need is a sword, uh, any type of sword. I just bring an adamant sword because it's um, your best uh, max DPS uh, one-hander in F2P and P2P. Then next thing you need is an adamant uh, 2H. Well, if you you don't have to bring an adamant uh, scimitar sword. You just have to bring any type of sword. But the only requirement is that the 2H you bring. You have to bring a 2H. That's your next item you need to bring. It has to be this of the same metal. So if you bring a mithril 2H, you're gonna need a. If you bring a mithril scimitar, you're gonna need a mithril 2H. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, I have my adamant 2H for the max DPS two-hander in the game. Then the next thing you need is any type of bow. I just bring a charge bow because you know they they hit pretty hard. But you know, bring what you got. Next, you need 69 nature runes. Um, unfortunately, there's no way around this. You're gonna need 69 nature runes, not 68, not 70, but you need 69. All right, so that seems to be the only way that this method works. So just yeah, 69 nature runes. Then the next thing you need is a staff of air. Then you need uh, three to five burst snares. Uh, I might just bring five later because you know there you should bring five if you're just beginning this method because you know you might mess up but yeah three to five burst snares and then fill the rest of your uh, inventory with food I just have sardines because they heal a lot but yeah that's all you need guys for the inventory all right guys so to get to the method that I'm about to show you um you have to first teleport to the Alcare lodestone um so I'm gonna do that, but before I do that, let me show you guys. Um, so Al Carrot on a mini map, it's in case you don't have the load to unlock, all you have to do is so Lumbridge was is right here, right? You should have this load to unlocked. If you don't if you don't have Al Carrot loads to unlock, just teleport to Lumbridge and walk east to right here and directly go down the route here. Alright, you see right here where my mouse is? That, that is where the Al Carrot Lodestone is located, and just go over there and activate it and you will not only have activated the lodestone and have it for next time, but you'll also be at our location where we need to be. Okay, so I'm gonna teleport to the lodestone. I'll carry it, guys. I'll carry the lodestone. Um, make sure to. So first thing you want to do is uh, come up here to the staircase. This is building is, is known as the Alcarid Palace. Um, there's a bunch of soldiers in here. They're pretty strong and high level, but uh, it's all right. So. The first thing you need to do is get one of your bird traps and set one up right in front of the stairs, okay? So the reason that you really need to do this and as this step is very important in this method is because, you know, with this tra this tr bird trap, bird snare here is that it shows them, it shows them that the soldiers inside that you're not playing around and that you're serious. So this is why you need to have a bird snare outside the staircase so that, you know, you show them that you're here and then, you know, it's time for them to give up all their money. All right. Like that, this is, this is not a game. All right. So that's the first step. After you're done with this, make sure you just walk up the stairs. No one's going to mess with you because they know you put up your bird snare. Okay. All right. So first thing you guys want to do when you guys are up the stairs is, uh, equip your staff real quick and then, uh, Go to your spell book, get your, uh, do, and, oh, forgot to mention, you need at least 20 mage for this method, um, I'll put that in the description, but, uh, you wanna, that's why you have your 69 nature runes, the reason is because what you wanna do now is you want to, uh, use and uh, bind, this is bind, um, get behind a soldier so that he doesn't see you, and just bind him real quick. So after you binded him, he'll be stuck in that spot for 12 seconds, okay, the next thing you need to do is... Take out your bow and just shoot and take a step. Shoot and take a step. If he's like still coming at you and you're having trouble killing him, then what you need to do is bind him again. All right, you know, this just bind him like that, like just like that. See, so get your bow out, shoot, step, shoot, step. All right, it's really important. Shoot, step, shoot, step. Okay, getting fucked up. Okay. Shoot step, shoot step. Okay, I have a low range level, so this is kind of hard for me. But uh, when you guys do, uh, make sure you guys uh, get those binds down and make sure when he's when you do it when he's not looking. So when you shoot him, and he's finally okay. I don't know what is this guy's deal, but he needs to get 
off my back, man. I'm gonna pwn you, noob. Okay, I don't... Oh my... This always happens to me, okay? Like, it's, okay. Alright, so once you got him down, what you need to do is... It's alright, he, he dropped some pretty uh, high-level armor there, but it, it's alright. We don't need that. Okay, so after you kill the first soldier using range, what you need to do is... Alright guys, so after you guys have killed your first soldier with the bow, take out your sword and kill a second soldier real quick. And I kill this guy much faster. Alright guys, after you kill the soldier with your sword, take out your 2 h and kill one more soldier. Bam. Then after you guys uh, kill one with your soldier, what you have to do is just uh, get out your staff again, uh, bind the soldier. Oh, it's not a soldier. Bind a soldier real quick and then kill him with uh, mage. Any spell you want. Just make sure you get him down with mage. Nice. So, after that, guys, what you want to do is go back outside. Alright, so when you guys are outside, uh, chances are this took a pretty long time, at least for me. So your, tra your bird trap isn't here anymore, but that's fine. Set up another one. And all we have to do, guys, is just wait. Alright, guys, it's been roughly 20 seconds, but uh, around the 30 to 40 seconds, maybe 50 seconds mark of just waiting here with your trap up, um, what's going to happen, basically, is a rubber turkey is going to spawn on the ground. Uh, I'm just waiting for it right now. I'll just uh, wait a little bit longer. It should appear sometime soon. And uh, considering you did this correctly and followed all my steps, a rubber turkey will spawn on the ground. Okay, guys? Just uh, wait. Just show sure you guys this legit. Oh, if your bird trap falls down, make sure you get back up and lay it back up again. Okay, you don't want any of that. See? Right there. Here we go. Rubber turkey. There you go. Pick it up, guys. And so, there you go, guys. That's all you have to do. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you guys is my uh, what I got after one hour. So, let me just give you guys a quick price check. Uh, yeah, I should have did this earlier, but let me show you guys. As you can see, uh, a turkey takes about 20 minutes. So, in uh, an hour, I got three turkeys. And so, it ended up being 65 million 